Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to refine the secondary details and let's do it. So, so let's go to our Maya file, here, Maya scene here. So I was just checking the reference image and you can see here there is a safe. We, we didn't have this safe yet. So this no best safe there. So I'm going to the side view and let's add one edge loop here with matching this area and let's extrude this face let's select the whole face here till here oh sorry just select this face somewhere here let's do it manually i think i have selected everything there no yeah that's fine so once i have selected that then i think i should take this as well till here oh I don't want these faces so now I'm going to extrude those face and let's offset them like this side view now I'm going to scale using my normal scale tool like this you can see the you know, structure there and if you see this piece is wider than this top piece so I'm going to scale it overall so let's scale like this so it's wider than this part so let's scale it and here it's like matching with this part so I think we just need to select all these things and scale and match them something like this it's slowly merging here and let's check here so this loop should be somewhere here uh, sorry here I don't need this set so I'm going to delete this set and now I have a triangle here so I can fix that by just using the multi cut tool and bring this loop continue to this end so let's to here and right click to execute now I don't have to keep this triangle so let's select this and press ctrl delete on your keyboard to delete this and do the same thing here again I can use symmetry for these things I just forgot to turn on that so delete it or you can use shift right mouse and delete edge so now if I press 3 you can see this little hint there I need to like add edges and here I don't have to keep these edges so let's delete this now these two pieces are separate so we don't have to keep these things here if we don't have uh, if you don't need here so let's press 3 you can see okay now it's just a matter of adding edge loops and like hardening some edges and okay so in the front area I feel this is a little bit more rounded than we have here so let's do that so let's you know adjust these vertices here so make them downward there let's select them just to move up Maybe scale a little bit and the bottom part I feel it's it's rounded so let's do this so let's select this loop and this two of this and then deselect this thing and then scale like this so make sure this curve is there and we need to do that here as well in order to match that I can just select these two edges these two move them up you can just follow these loops and match them still they are not matching but I think that's fine okay next let's do this magazine here so 
let's go to here uh, now again I can just duplicate this bottom face okay just duplicate that face by just using duplicate edit means duplicate there now I have two faces there so let's select this piece uh, now I just need to scale it I think I just need to extrude it and offset it something like this and let's extrude again and now I'm going to extrude like this somewhere here and it's, it, it's not still here so I need to adjust this piece so let's make this piece select this area and move somewhere here and now I am going to select sorry this face and this face it's not letting me to select it I don't know why uh, it's because of that you not know, top face there so let's select and delete all these faces this okay, now select it extrude and now I'm going to I'm going to offset it like this this side you can see the shape there and then I'm going to extrude it and this time going down okay that's fine for now now next uh, next let's do this shape this uh, trigger here so I'm going to I'm going to use a different technique for that let's use our create polygon tool so let's go to mesh tools and create polygon and with this tool you can just draw like this it's kind of CV curve tool and let's do this here make sure we have you no know, face there and make sure we are matching lines so yeah like this let's press press enter to complete it and it's a plane here I just need to extrude it okay let's extrude this piece before I extrude I need to connect this so let's select it and go to mesh and triangulate it and then again go to mesh and this time quad triangulate it so you can see it's automatically connect those things now I'm going to extrude this to get the thickness so let's extrude and get the thickness there so I think this is uh, this no width is matching with this piece I'm not sure but let's let's increase the thickness there okay now I'm going to add one edge loop to the center let's split it and now let's bring the pivot to the center let's go to modify and center pivot and now you can see it's kind of offset it's not at the center so hold X and move to snap it to the center now let's go to side view and let's split it so that I can mask the shape here so here we have something so let's put this line somewhere here and let's match the same here so let's select and press V and move here to snap it so it can like penetrate there no problem and let's move this little thing okay I think that's fine for now we are going to coming back to it and we are going to detail those things and let's do this top part here you can see there's a details so here I'm just trying to like look overall and do the basic things first so you can see we have something here like this so let's do that so go to this view I want to have two loops there so let's add one edge loop here one edge loop somewhere here so now we have two loops there okay so let's follow this image here it's simple and straight so let's do this and let's do this piece 
I think I I need one loops here for this safe here. Let's so now let's extrude somewhere maybe here here this faces with this face like this. So scale it like this and let's select this and this face as well. Now let's extrude and let's move inside there like this. Okay. How do we are going to delete this face? So we'll delete this face, this face. Oh, sorry, this face. Yeah, I, we need to delete these faces as well. So let's delete these faces. Then we are going to connect here. So I think we need to pull this inside. Let's move till here. So let's hold V and you no know, move. I think again I have selected something there. Hold V and move till here. So you can hold V and middle mouse drag to this vertex. It will automatically snap. But before that, make sure you have selected this axis just by clicking. Okay, now I'm going to fill it. So I can use the, I can just target weld. Just go to target weld tool and weld here like this. Something like this. yeah so we have that complicated shape there then we can just you know use this existing piece to extrude our mesh from there so let's duplicate it first let's go to edit mesh and duplicate so now once i duplicated just select both of them control drag here to deselect it and then i'm going to extrude the whole shape there Something like this and then yeah then I'm going to bevel it so let's bevel it and let's say seg our two segments here decrease the fraction and because of this gap I'm doing this so let's extrude this side again except that center thing let's extrude oh, make sure it's wall set to wall just click on this little icon then move okay that's good okay so I think we need to just select these two edges here and let's scale this to get this you know angle shape here okay it's looking great so little detail so I'm stopping this video here as you can see we have no, base very good base here so we just need to you know sharpen some edges and uh, doing some details so in the next video we are going to bring some details to the model